Welcome to our video on water treatment plant technician interview questions and answers. In the field of water treatment, both reverse osmosis, RO, operators and RO technicians play crucial roles in ensuring the efficient functioning of water treatment plants. While their responsibilities often overlap, there are distinct differences in their job roles. RO operator. An RO operator is primarily responsible for the operation and monitoring of the RO plant. They focus on day-to-day -day activities such as starting and stopping the plant, adjusting operating parameters, and conducting routine checks to ensure proper water treatment. RO Technician On the other hand, an RO technician possesses a deeper understanding of the equipment used in the RO plant. They are responsible for maintenance, troubleshooting, and repair of the plant's machinery, ensuring that it operates at optimal efficiency. Here are important interview questions and answers to the role of an RO technician. Question 1. Can you explain the purpose of a feed water pump in an RO plant? Answer. A feed water pump is responsible for delivering raw water from the source to the pre-treatment process, ensuring consistent water supply for treatment. Question 2. How often should pumps be inspected, and what aspects are typically assessed during these inspections? Answer. Pumps should be inspected regularly, typically monthly. During inspections, factors like vibration levels, seals, and lubrication are assessed to identify wear and tear. Question 3. Describe the importance of routine greasing for pumps and its impact on plant performance. Answer. Routine greasing of pumps prevents friction, ensures smooth operation, and extends the lifespan of the pumps, thereby maintaining efficient plant performance. Question 4. Can you outline the steps involved in performing a preventive maintenance check on a high-pressure pump? Answer. Steps include visual inspection, checking for leaks, lubrication, verifying pressure levels, and assessing vibration using appropriate instruments. Question 5. What safety measures should be taken when working with high-pressure systems? Answer. Proper personal protective equipment, PPE adherence to lockout tagout procedures and knowledge of emergency shutdown protocols are crucial for safety question six explain the procedure for conducting a pressure vessel inspection to ensure its integrity answer pressure vessel inspections involve visual checks thickness measurements corrosion assessment and verifying proper functioning of safety devices question seven what strategies do you employ to minimize the risk of corrosion in the piping system of an ro plant Answer. Coating, cathodic protection, regular inspection, and monitoring of water quality can help prevent and manage corrosion. Question 8. Discuss the role of a maintenance log and how it aids in efficient plant management. Answer. A maintenance log documents equipment inspections, repairs, and servicing, providing a historical record that aids in scheduling and predicting maintenance needs. Question 9. Describe the steps you take to assess and address leaks in the RO system's piping network. Answer. Steps include visual inspection, pressure drop analysis, and utilizing leak detection techniques to locate and repair leaks promptly. Question 10. How do you manage the maintenance of instrumentation devices used in the RO plant? Answer. Regular calibration, cleaning, verifying readings against benchmarks, and prompt replacement of malfunctioning instruments are essential. Question 11. Discuss the role of planned downtime in an RO plant's maintenance strategy. Answer. Planned downtime allows for in-depth maintenance tasks that cannot be performed during regular operations, ensuring equipment, longevity, and reliability. Question 12. How do you prioritize maintenance tasks when dealing with limited resources and time? Answer. Prioritization is based on criticality potential impact on operations and safety considerations, ensuring that vital tasks are addressed first. Question 13. What measures do you take to extend the life of seals and gaskets used in the RO plant's equipment? Answer. Regular inspection, proper lubrication, and ensuring compatible materials help prolong the life of seals and gaskets. Question 14. Describe the process of developing a maintenance schedule for an RO plant. Answer. Developing a schedule involves assessing equipment needs, factoring in manufacturer recommendations, setting intervals, and aligning with operational downtime. Question 15. 
How do you stay updated on advancements in maintenance practices and technologies within the water treatment field? Answer. Attending workshops, reading industry publications, participating in webinars, and networking with professionals. <laughs>